the essence of Clare's defensive system in this championship has been to drop number six Pat Donald back into a sweeper role directly in front of his own full back or in front of the opposing number 14 or, or, or full forward. In essence what that does is it squeezes the play in front of goal to deny goal scoring chances to the opposition. And next Sunday obviously the, the main goal scorer or the main danger man for goals in, in, in the Cork attack would be Pat Horgan at 14. So basically you're squeezing the play in front of him, you're cutting out any, any supply that you're trying to get into uh, the 14 from half back line midfield is going to be cut out by number six. So that is what they, that's what they have done and it's proving very, very effective for them. Because essentially what's happening is any ball that drops into the zone here in front of the goal, right, back from we say 45 metres back, you, you'll always have an extra defender here to counteract we'd say one or two forwards and also you have number seven coming back, number five coming back and they've dropped Conor Ryan who's normally a midfielder He's playing midfield, but he was normally a centre back on the 21 level. He's also dropping back in here, so the goal is defended. So, I mean, it's not quite a blanket defence, but it's probably a hurling equivalent of that. Um, that's the that's the strategy they're going for. Now, um, David Fitzgerald probably would be aware as well that if this breaks down, he'd also have maybe uh, you know a plan B and a plan. Uh, C, which will be a derivative of this, somewhere that you that maybe Donlin goes here or Donlin goes there, if if they feel they need to. But the idea then for the attacking, we will say the attack then has to be very mindful that any ball that's just hit in here is going to be swallowed up by clear. So they'd have to devise their own tactics um, to get around this. But I'll just deal now with the 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 puck outs from clear. First of all, Patrick Kelly is inclined to go long. And he has, we'd say, options up here in that he has um, John Conlon, who'd be the main, they'd be the main, he'd be the main ball winner. Or um, normally Padge Collins operates over on centre forward, and then you have Colin Ryan on the left. So he, he hits a fair bit of ball down here. Tony Kelly's very strong in the air, but he has also used, he has the facility now because he has a spare man here to use a short puck out. So. By Pat Donnan just going basically to the left hand side here to move here for a puck out or move to the right hand side, right? Or if Pat Horgan is, is, is gone to the right, he has the facility to hit number six straight away. And then when he turns, he's unopposed. So basically, Cork have a challenge first of all. How are they going to work the puck outs? So, an alternative to um, leaving Donnan free would be to leave David McInerney free with number 14, Pat Horgan, dropping back for the puck outs and letting David McInerney take the short puck out if needs be. Now the killer there is that um, McInerney is excellent at taking the ball up. So he can come out this side, come out that side and go straight up. But the killer for any forward line is that if somebody rushes in, a bit like we say at rugby level, like where the defence is set up and someone rushes out of the line, the, the best way to counteract that is to force McInerney to go all the way with the ball and then to tackle him back from behind. So you're, you're forcing him to come out. If number 13 comes in, all he does is he offloads it to 4, 4 then comes up the wing and he offloads it to 7 because 10 gets involved. So for that, really the strategy there of blocking that would be if you have two defenders, obviously if he's picked out by the keeper, he, they're in possession. What do you do next? Rushing up creates extra men. And then you're giving the ideal ball in, maybe if it's worked out to, we'll say for argument's sake, it's worked out to um, Keen Dillon. Dillon then advances and 10 comes up and it's worked out here, we'll say to um, Pat O'Connor, who then has the facility maybe to feed Cullum Galvin going forward. And suddenly you're in a situation where clear of the ball going forward, they have five forwards, they're, they're not under pressure and he can pick out somebody inside. So you want to avoid that at all costs. So obviously drop back when three is in possession. Don't don't attack him and then force him maybe to strike the ball along himself. Yeah.